Well, it is about day seven of my move to storage with all of my things. And it has been quite the challenge um, getting everything out of my place. And I'm far from done, but I've made a good dent in it. So I kind of wanted to talk about age discrimination. Um, it's not a fun thing to face and I never dreamed I would be facing it. Um, but some of you might be able to relate. Um, it's hard to find a job when you're in your late 50s or 60s. Even a part-time job, they're going to generally pick someone younger. And it's, it's just, uh, I don't even know where to begin with this subject. But I had a situation not long ago that's all I'll say. And before I tell the story, I'm going to mention it just so I don't get in trouble. I have worked in five districts, school districts, over 17 years with thousands of kids and multiple hundreds of classrooms. So that way you don't know which district this was or who it was. But I was hired for a long-term job. Basically, it lasted about eight months. It was a really nice job, nice pay. The principal and I got along really well when this principal hired me. It was a real quick thing and they needed help and I came to the rescue and I appreciated the job. I, uh, I thought it was going kind of well. It was, it was difficult at times. But as time went on, some strange things began to happen. Oops, that is what happens when you're moving. Um, anyway, what ended up happening is this principal, during this time, the coworker I had left. I don't know if he was let go or he chose to leave. So they found another young girl to work with me. And it was okay for the most part. I mean, we got along. But as we got further into the year, uh, it kind of became evident that this principal didn't want me there anymore. I had someone else ha helping me who happened to be a Christian. And we were kind of <clears throat> coming up against, let's just say, uh, issues that collided with Christianity. And so anyway, upon me um, about getting ready to leave, the new teacher wanted to start earlier. She wanted to start in the spring instead of the following fall. So, um, I was asked to go and that didn't go over too well. And I ended up having a meeting with the principal in the office and he brought to my attention things that had never come up before. In fact, I thought I got along great with the staff and he basically told me, nobody really likes you here. In fact, people are going through your social media pages and seeing that you have worn a bikini on your Instagram. And I said, well, yeah, of course I have. I work out and I went on a vacation and that's kind of normal that you have pictures like that. And I said, how would you know if you weren't looking at it yourself? And he had his computer away from me and his face was red and I knew he had looked at my pictures. He was just grasping at straws to, to try to get rid of me. Anyway, I ended up leaving abruptly. It was very awkward, very strange, weird situation. My feelings were hurt a lot. I'm getting to my point. Fast forward another year. I get a call from an attorney who wants me to come and testify. And I thought, oh great, don't involve me in any more messes like this. This is not what I need. And turns out this principal had been harassing multiple women, sexual harassment, unwanted comments and gestures. And I thought, well, I could kind of see that about him. But uh, then my it came up about me and this attorney interviewed me and she said, did you ever hear any talk about what was being said about you? And I said, what? Well, apparently the principal has been saying that you're just old and he was trying to get rid of you. I said, are you kidding me? At what, I'm an old bag? You gonna put me out to pasture? I was good enough for you to have fill in for eight months while you search for a teacher, but now I'm the old bag and you gotta get rid of me. 
and come to find out, um, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but I said, you have got to be kidding me. And they had interviewed nine other girls who he had made sexual advances towards and his job was on the line, but I was offended that he was considering me old and I was offended and I wasn't gonna pursue anything. I never did as far as a lawsuit about age discrimination. I it, I felt bad enough to because that was a good paying job for me and to think that he wanted me out of there because he wanted um, younger girls, I guess. And then I did find out by that fall that he was replaced and lost his job. But I, I am so offended that someone thought I was an old bag, they had to get rid of me. For, and I'm telling you, yeah, the new teacher was younger, but it wasn't like she was all, you know, just hot or something. I don't know. That's not how you hire teachers. If you do, it is discrimination. That's not how you treat people. So, okay, so that was a for sure age discrimination against me. There were multiple witnesses that came forward and said that yes this principal is talking behind Tammy's back saying she's old and he was planning to get rid of me so those of you who tell me and other people that at 59 we're not having age discrimination that's not true because it is it happened to me and even if I went to work at Target or Walmart or the gas station or I don't know, wherever it does come into play, they're going to pick a 22-year-old before 59. So, this is the, the world we live in. As you get older, if you don't have your ducks lined up and a lot of things financially lined up, and you're needing to work, you know, well past retirement age, you're going to face age discrimination, and it's not fair. And it's very real, and it happened to me. And... I will say what goes around comes around because that poor principal, it wasn't his first time at that rodeo. He had already been let go at another school for the same situation. And I'm not naming schools, but not cool. And it does eventually come back and bite you. It will find you if you're treating people that way. So I'm just, I'm just trying to earn a living. That's all any of us are trying to do. But it's not fair and I don't know if any of you guys are facing it um, you can leave a comment most of you probably won't comment but I just wanted to tell my story and I did not say which school this was did not mention this principal's name and I have no idea if he found a job anywhere else but I'm tired of being treated that way and I'm just moving on so there's my 10 cents for today